Hello and welcome, it's Training the Right Way and what we're going to talk about today is the FTP Manager Lite. Uh, this is a uh, free software that on uh, your phone and your computer and it allows you to connect your phone, Android phone or whatever to your computer so you can transfer files. Now, I've just changed my phone. I did have a Huawei P30 which I used High Suite. Now High Suite was a very, I say, temperamental because um, it, it, it was security minded, but in my opinion, it went way over the top and I found it very difficult to get my files off my phone. I eventually did it, but you have to keep on updating the, the actual clients and every time you did that, it would have a different way of logging in. Anyway, so I found this uh, new phone, which is a Black, which is a Blackview BV8900, which you can find a review on my review channel, uh, because I was looking for a uh, phone that was fairly cheap, very rugged, and did exactly what I wanted to do, but at a cheaper price, because the one phone that I wanted was a Vivo X80, and... Even a year later, well over a year, it's still over a thousand pounds. So, yeah. And unfortunately, in the UK, we are limited by the types of phones that we can have on contract. And they do not offer the Vivo. In fact, they're very rarely do, do you see them outside of Asia. They are a Chinese company, I believe. But then so is Blackview. So Blackview I've got on uh, Amazon. Uh, I did a review of it. I'm very impressed with it. The only problem was it, when it was transferring the apps over, it didn't transfer over, over any of the files. Uh, I was using Google uh, Transfer. So, yeah. So I discovered that I needed uh, to transfer some files over. I tried uh, cable, uh, USB. I couldn't, couldn't do that uh, anyway. So I tried High Suite. That wouldn't let me do it. So I looked around for a free FTP manager and I found this one. This one's FTP manager Lite. So the uh, website here is, uh, you can find it uh, deskshare.com, FTP manager free. And it's a, a free client. What you do is you download it onto your computer and then you go on to uh, Play Store and you upload it onto your phone. Uh, basically, it also re reconnects, it transfers files with FTP and you can obviously control which files. It's got an easy file management system which is very much like a file manager. So there is a two versions and uh, the one that I've got is the light version. So you obviously are limited in some of the things that you can do. Uh, there, isn't, there isn't many things that you cannot do, but <laughs> I, for example, automatic transfers. What I'll do is I'll load it up onto my computer and I'll show you that right now. So here we are, this is the actual application opened up. As you can see, I've already done it. Uh, my PC is set up and the phone my Blackview phone, which I will look at, and I will load up the transfer program. Okay, so once you've done that on your phone, you get two options. You get a same Wi-Fi network, which obviously I am, or you can do it on a mobile hotspot. So if you have a mobile phone, you can set up a hotspot, and it will turn on that, and then you can connect the Windows PC to the hotspot which I think is brilliant. Now the one that you have to pay for is any internet connection. So you can do it on from your PC from anywhere. So mobile data, you can do it on Wi-Fi and you can move files to your Windows PC. So I'm gonna do it on the same Wi-Fi network. So we'll do a new, uh, we'll do a new one as a test, okay? And what we want to do is transfer between PC and mobile. 
the uh, FTP server, depending on if you have a website. So you could use it to do uh, uploading your websites, which I already use. I already use Qt FTP, so I don't really, really need to do that, but this is more for my mobile. So there, and next, and then you have to look on your phone uh, and obviously select a, a folder that you need to put the files onto. But if we type in the code, uh, which comes up on the sc on the screen on your mobile, see, and you can test the connection to see if it actually works, which it does. So uh, you obviously uh, the mobile version of that is on Google Play Store, and there is a QR code that you can use if you want to scan that QR code. And here we are. So it's just like a two window, two pane. Uh, file manager this one here is your phone so these are your folders on your phone like you uh, and your uh, sim card thing oh, go back in the camera so the camera pictures there that you can see and basically you could transfer that over to your hard drive this is your uh, downloads file uh, folder so you could transfer it over by clicking this button here hey presto and just like any of these uh, FTP programs they give you a, a thing about what they're doing uh, in the bottom box here because it's very much like if you were on a Unix based uh, um, computer but it works in a very similar way and obviously if you've got a queue if you've transferred any files it will go in there that is it it's that simple it's so easy to do and of course it doesn't um, take very long and for example if I want these pictures copy them over I just click that button there and it will be copied over to the uh, computer PC so there we go and of course there is a a paid version which is this one here you can try it for free there are some settings related to this so you could launch it when it a uh, uh, computer starts or you can have it minimized you can make passwords in invisible and also specify a temporary directory color scheme blue gray blue gray or black and the language the proxy server it will connect to the internet this is a direct connection so a direct connection does not use a proxy Uh, so there we go and that is it that is all the settings that you have there is a brief help thing that you could try if you're not sure but to be fair it's not rocket science so that for me is a good system for easily transferring your files from your mobile phone uh, you can also import and export your profiles so if you have another computer, another laptop, for example, then you could export the settings and everything so it doesn't, you don't forget it. Uh, and uh, these are the things that you can also, the other programs that they do. Right, uh, I hope that was useful for you, FTP Manager Lite. I find it very useful. I'm going to be installing it on my laptop as well for when I go away so that I can transfer my photos to the computer and uh, I can't really show you the uh, mobile phone version of it but it does look basically you don't do anything more once you run the actual um, application on your phone it just sits there um, and you do everything on your computer so it's not you don't have to interact with your mobile phone right that's it for today if it was useful don't forget thumbs up like share and I'll see you again for another